Hi folks, I'm gonna show you how to use QuickBooks Enterprise to receive inventory using a wireless Android device like this one. This is a Zebra TC21. It's basically a phone with a built-in barcode scanner. And this interacts with QuickBooks Enterprise when you're doing a sales order fulfillment, inventory receiving, and cycle counts. For this specific video, we're only gonna be focusing on inventory receiving. So we're gonna go ahead and do an example of that so you can see how the workflow works. First thing is we're gonna go into QuickBooks Enterprise. I'm gonna click on the edit menu and then I'm gonna go down to where it says preferences. And that's kind of the first step because I need to make sure that my version of QuickBooks actually is compatible with this feature. I'm gonna click on item and settings or items and inventory. And then I'm gonna click on company preferences and then I'm gonna click on the button that says advanced inventory settings. If that button is not there or is grayed out, that means you don't have the proper version of QuickBooks to be able to use the wireless scanner uh, and, and interact with your inventory. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on advanced inventory settings and then I'm gonna click on the tab that says Ad uh, site operations. And I have to make sure that I turn on uh, sales order fulfillment and purchase order management. So we have a different video that explains sales order, sales order fulfillment. I'll put a link to the description below. We're gonna be focusing on uh, inventory, uh, purchase order management for receiving inventory. Now you have to have at least one device connected. So I got this device connected with my QuickBooks desktop file. So I should be up and running. As a quick note, if you don't have the right version of QuickBooks, maybe you don't have the most updated, maybe you don't have the proper one, you need to have QuickBooks Enterprise Platinum. It's the only way this will work. If you're not sure what you have, or if you need to upgrade, just email me. I'll put my email somewhere below and we'll help you through that process. Anyway, so we got everything set up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, two items that have barcodes uh, in the back. So we're gonna, gonna interact with those barcodes and kind of see how that works. So let's go ahead and create them. I'm gonna go into the list menu and click on item list. And then I'm gonna click on the item tab on the bottom here and then go to new item. I'm just creating a new item as normal. And then I'm gonna create them as an inventory part. I'm gonna start with this product here and I'm just gonna call it green crunchy. So green crunchy. And then on there where it says barcode number, I have to actually manually type the barcode number in there. So I'm literally gonna read the barcode number from here and then I'm gonna type the number in there. So 0160002646944. And then I'm gonna do the rest of the settings here. So let's say these are a dollar each on the cost side. They sell for $2 each. And then I'm gonna create uh, the income account here. I'll just pick any of these income accounts, have the cost of goods sold. I'm not gonna mess too much with it. I'm just gonna hit okay. So my green crunchy item has been created. I'm gonna create now my, my gooey pink item and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna right click anywhere on the screen, click on new and then click on inventory part and call this one gooey pink. And um, I'll just put the revenue account here. Let's put revenue and let's say these are a cost of $2 each and we sell them for $4. Now in terms of typing the barcode number manually, you can skip that if you have a regular USB barcode scanner. You cannot use the Android device with the barcode scanner to load the inventory items, uh, at least in the database. You're going to need a regular run-of-the-mill, cheap from Amazon, USB barcode scanner that you plug into your computer where QuickBooks Enterprise is, and you can scan it. I actually have a USB wireless uh, device. Basically, there's a little USB dongle, hooks up to the computer, and I can use this. This is Bluetooth, and I still have to be in front of the computer, but I could be quite far from the computer. Either way, if I'm really far, I can't read the screen. I can't read the screen and this uh, and this uh, tool only really works with interaction with the screen. So this could be a regular wired USB barcode scanner or a Bluetooth USB barcode scanner. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and use my regular USB barcode scanner. Well, it's making a lot of beeping. Scan that and then the numbers get loaded uh, in there automatically. I wouldn't have to type it by hand if I got a physical barcode scanner, which is why I recommend those things are not expensive at all. Okay, good. So I got both of my items are set up and both of them have barcode scanners. Now something that's really cool, I mean, both of them have barcodes, sorry. So one thing that's really cool, if I right click in this screen 
and click on customize columns, I can actually put barcode and add that in here and then hit OK. And then I can actually see which of my items have barcodes loaded in. So I can see if I'm missing uh, items with barcodes or some of the items that I need to still add barcodes to them. That's very clear there. Let me go ahead and now create a purchase order that we're going to receive using the wireless uh, barcode scanner. So I'm going to start with clicking on purchase order and I'm going to select a random vendor here. I'll pick this vendor here and then under item, I'm going to pick uh, the GUI or pink and I'll do, let's say 20 of them. And then I'm going to pick the green crunchy and we'll do 15 of them. Okay. So I'm just creating a regular run of the mill, plain vanilla purchase order. And I'm going to go ahead and click on save. So there's my purchase order created. But now what I want is I want my warehouse team, a different person that doesn't have access to QuickBooks to receive the inventory when it arrives using the wireless barcode scanners. So we'll show you how that works. I'll go ahead and click on save and close. And then me as the QuickBooks user, I have to now tee up uh, the warehouse user to go receive the inventory. So I'm going to click on the vendors menu and then I'm going to click on purchase order management. Once I go into purchase order management, you're going to see a list of all your open purchase orders. Okay. This last one that you see here is the one that I just created, the one that I plan to or to uh, send to the warehouse user so they can uh, receive it. So I'm going to click on that one, check it, and then I'm going to click on the bottom where it says send to device. So you see that button there that says send to device. I click on send to device. And in this case, since I have multiple warehouse locations turned on, I have to pick which warehouse location I want to receive this product in or I want to send the order to receive this in. If I didn't have multiple warehouse locations turned on, then I wouldn't have to select it. But in this case, since I do, I'm going to go ahead and select main warehouse and then click on send to device. Once I click on send to device, I get a pop-up. If I'm sending multiple POs, multiples will show there. I can add a note if I want to add some additional instructions and then I can select which of the uh, receivers use it and you can have multiple people with uh, mobile Android devices that are um, picking product in this case a uh, receiving product and you can tell it specifically who you want to uh, you want to order to receive this so I'm going to send this to Mike the picker and then click on send and then click on OK OK I got my mobile uh, device here ready to go and I this is the QuickBooks the uh, warehouse management app. When you first open the app, it's going to ask you which of which user are you. So who are you logging in as? I'm going to go ahead and click on Mike the picker, and I'm going to log in as him. I notice that where it says uh, receive, there's one purchase order assigned to me. It could be several, but in this case, it's just one. So I'm going to go ahead and press that on the on the phone, and then it gives you a list of all the outstanding purchase orders that are there. I'm going to click on the actual purchase order I want to receive, the only one that's showing up in here. And they'll open up the screen where you can do your item receiving. If you're not using uh, barcodes, if you're using just a regular Android phone with a barcode, simply you pick the item, you actually, you click on the item itself and you select how many you're receiving. So I could press plus a couple of times on the keyboard and I'm basically uh, using the phone itself, but I have this... Um, mirror image on the computer so you can see it. So I can press plus a couple of times. I can just keep pressing it until I get to the actual amount that I physically counted on the receiving end. Let's see, this is going to be a partial receive and I'm going to receive 15, not 20, and then click on receive. And then that will partially receive that portion. And then let's go ahead and press uh, the crunchy one. I'll click on the green crunchy. And for this, I will showcase it. And for this, I'll showcase it with the actual barcode scanner. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and grab my, my, my unit and then I'm gonna literally going to just scan it with uh, the phone. So notice I go and I'm scanning each one. And every time I click it, right, I'm assuming that I'm physically grabbing them from the truck or from the pallet or whichever form, way, shape or form that we receive them. I'm going to click it each every time. I'm going to scan every single product that I start bringing in until I'm, I'm finishing receiving stuff. So once I receive... All of them, in this particular case, it looks like it's uh, complete. It was a full quantity. I'm going to click on receive and then finish. And it says, are you finished with the PO? I'm going to go ahead and press yes. And that's it. That's really all you need to do on this side. It's just letting me know, hey, by the way, 
you didn't get the full quantities on one particular PO because you partially received it. At this point, you really don't need to do anything and just hit continue and that's it, you're done. So now I'm back in the QuickBooks side and I'm the uh, QuickBooks user now. I'm the person in the QuickBooks side uh, looking at all my open uh, purchase orders. So as I look at all my purchase orders, I can see the status of this PO. So for example, you look at this PO that, uh, that we just created, PO number 34, notice that this is partially received. So at this point, the next step would be to create an item receipt. You can either do it from here, from the actions uh, drop down menu. I can click on view receive list first and kind of see what was received. And then I can click on create item receipt for here, from here, if I want to, or I can click on the drop down menu and go straight to item receipt or to create the bill. Let's say the next step is to create item receipt. I'll click on create item receipt. QuickBooks will now generate the item receipt automatically for you. I'm gonna click on view item receipt and then you get to see the actual item receipt in QuickBooks. At this point, the user of the phone app doesn't really do anything else. Everything else is done at the QuickBooks level. So uh, the item receipt, the bill, paying the bill, all that stuff happens at the QuickBooks level. And really essentially, that's it. That's all the, this app does when it comes to inventory receiving. The workflow is you create the PO in QuickBooks. Two, you send it to the phone or to the warehouse user to receive. The warehouse user actually manually enters the quantities or scans the product, completes the purchase order, then a QuickBooks user logs back into the purchase order management screen and at this point uh, completes the process by creating that PO or that item receipt. Right? This could be fully received or it could be partially received, really up to the circumstances at that point. Now in this specific case, because the PO was partially received, you can go back into where it says purchase orders and that PO is still showing up here as partially received. So let's say the second part of the order comes in, assuming that we're gonna fulfill that in a, sep in a separate piece, we just click on send uh, to receive. So we click on the checkbox and click on send to device and then select the receiver or maybe leave it on a sign and we'll show you kind of how that works and then click on send. And now we're in the, in the, in the app itself in the phone, we're going to go to warehouse and then notice that there is uh, an order that's on a sign. So you can also see what's not been assigned to you as the actual physical user of the phone. And you can just click there and then you can click on the little tab in the top that says on a sign. You can grab that piece and hit yes for assign the PO to yourself. Now it comes in as your assigned PO. Now you're ready to receive it. At this point, there's only five items left. And now you, I can use the barcode scanner to completely receive the rest of the items. I scan all the items that are supposed to be there. I can click on receive and then finish and then hit yes. Then it says I'm done. Then I'm back in the QuickBooks side. Now I should be able to see that my purchase order has now been fully received. And notice that it's a sort of a, looks like a second line. We got the one that has already been completed. And now the second action has been received. And at this point, I'll create a separate item receipt or a separate bill uh, or uh, for this particular transaction because they were probably received in two different days or two different times. And possibly I'll get two separate bills from the vendors. Later on in the future, if you only get one bill, you can pay the one bill with one payment. That's not a big deal. But generally speaking, if you're going to split off a bill with a partial receipt, you're going to have multiple item receipts or multiple bills at the end. It's also worth mentioning how this process works if there are serial numbers involved. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into my edit preferences and I'm going to turn on serial numbers in my advanced inventory settings so you can see exactly how that will work. Let me go into serial numbers. I'm going to turn that on and turn on serial numbers. I'm going to click OK and then OK and then let the setting sort of kick in. I'm going to go to list and go to item list and then I'm going to create a new product that's going to be serialized. So I'm going to go to new, uh, new item and I'm going to do, call it uh, iPhone 12 for whatever reason. Let's say I'm bringing iPhone 12s. I'm going to skip the barcodes for now because we're going to be doing serial numbers only and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So there's my product. My product is set up. I don't have any iPhone 12s in stock. I'm going to go ahead and receive two of them and they're going to have 
uh, serial numbers. So let me start by going into uh, vendors and going into create purchase order. Let's say I'm going to buy these directly from Apple and I'll create my item. There's my iPhone 12. And let's say I'm going to bring uh, two of them and they are $900 a piece, right? So I created my purchase order. Let's put $900, not $9. So $900 a piece. And there's my purchase order for the two items. I don't need to put a, a serial number yet because this is just the purchase order stage. Let me go ahead and click on save and close and then go into the vendors menu and go to uh, purchase order management worksheet and then uh, select my purchase order that I want to send to get uh, received. I'll select the warehouse. Let's say these are going to my New York location and then I'll click on send to device. Okay. At this point, I can leave it on a sign or assign a specific user and then click on send. Okay, so I'm on my device again, and I'm going to receive these items with, uh, with serial numbers. Let me go to warehouse, select receive, click on, uh, on assigned or, or, or put, press with your finger on assigned, select the PO, hit yes, and then let's go ahead and uh, enter the product. In this case, they didn't have any barcodes, so I'll just select the item and then press uh, two or just manually put two. And then I have to enter the serial number, so I'm actually going to press under the item where it says serial number and I'm literally going to scan assuming the serial numbers in this case have barcodes in it because you can have a barcode on a serial number as well so I'm going to I'm going to scan the barcode of the same product as before but make it just imagine that's a serial number with a barcode on the actual iPhone uh, 12 in this specific case so I'll scan the first one that gets loaded in there let's assume that's a serial number for phone number one I'll scan the next serial number that's the serial number for phone number two, there's my two uh, serial numbers. I can also manually enter them if I want to. I, I'm not forced to scan them because not all serial numbers will have a scanning ability. I'll hit done, then I click on receive, then I click on finish, and then yes, so I'm done with the app. So now I get to go back into uh, the QuickBooks uh, ordering management. The uh, PO itself should now go into uh, the status should be under received. Now I can click on create item receipt or create bill. Assuming I skip the item receipt process, I'm gonna go straight to create bill. And then when the bill gets created, I'm gonna click on view bill. There's my bill. And then under serial numbers, notice that the serial numbers are entered in there. So now my uh, inventory was fully received with those serial numbers uh, in it. So the, the, the barcode scanner, uh, you can use it to, to scan the barcodes of the actual products you're receiving, assuming the barcodes are loaded into those products. And you can also manually enter the serial number on the fly, or you can scan the serial numbers, assuming the serial numbers have barcodes associated with them. Anyway, that's it. That's all the app does. It's actually a pretty simple process. It works really well in my opinion, but one thing for sure, don't expect it to do anything else beyond the specific uh, things that I mentioned. Anyway, I hope you liked it and I'll see you on the next one.